I want to make something absolutely clear. If you thought there was some working group coming to the rescue, I want you to know that you're wrong. This is it. There's nobody else hidden away on some other floor. There is just us. And we are failing. Uh, last year had an amazing year. And this year, kind of having another amazing year. <laughs> <laughs> you're just, you're just have every, every year is going to be amazing for you. This, this role is really something special, and this movie is. Mm. Um, at what point were you actually approached about it by Catherine? And, uh, what kind of jumped out at you about why you wanted to do it? You know it was going to be tough, too. Yes, well, it's it's funny. Um, I got a text from Megan Ellison, who's a producer on this film, uh, that said, if I ever ask you for anything in my life, it's to please call me back for five minutes. Mm -hmm. So I said, like, okay, you got my attention. So I called her back, and she said, there's a film, Catherine Bigelow. Great part, but we're being told by your agents that you're unavailable. I said, listen, I've always wanted to work with Catherine Bigelow, so that would be great. Talk to me about it. So then I get cold called by Catherine Bigelow, <laughs> which was an amazing day, and I uh, read the script, and I was, from the from page two, I knew I wanted to be a part of it. She hasn't had many female protagonists, and it's kind of, it's kind of interesting, because I think before, a couple weeks ago, people didn't even realize <laughs> that, yeah. what a big role you had in this movie. <laughs> Most people assumed, and actually there was press out there that said that I was, they assumed I was playing Joel Edgerton's wife in the movie. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. <laughs> they kept saying, like, oh, she must be one of the wives of the seals. Wow, okay. Um, which was really frustrating to me because I wanted to come out and they're being like, no, I'm not playing the wife. I'm actually playing a really <laughs> incredible character. Um, yeah, but what I loved so much about it is, you know, historically we're used to lead characters in movies that are women um, being defined by the men in their lives, whether it be like a love relationship or if they're a victim of men. But Maya's the opposite of that. She's, um, she's not even mentored or really protected by men. And she isn't a victim. She doesn't have some crazy neuroses or, you know, a, a, an illness of any kind. She's just capable, strong, and she stands on her own. And I feel like working with Catherine Bigelow to tell that story, it's a perfect represent, representation of this generation of women. And it's really fascinating because the way she kind of like, I mean, she really kind of holds together. I mean, you have other people kind of coming in and out, and she's always just there trying to find the answers, trying to find She's the... always there. But even at the very, very end, she's still referred to as the girl. Yeah. Well, so what was, like, like, when you first met with Catherine, I mean, I just assumed that Mark had his script already done, and they sent it to you. I was curious, what time frame was that also? Was that, like... This was about a year ago, last year. Okay. Um, the first time I met Catherine was after I was cast. After we worked out the schedule situation, uh, I was very nervous to, I mean, we spoke on the phone and after the script I sent a very like passionate email about the character and why I really felt that, um, you know, I should play the role <laughs> and thank, thank you for thinking of me in the role, let's please make my, the schedule work. Uh, and I sat down and talked with her and she didn't disappoint, she'd always been a great hero of mine as a filmmaker, but what's more important, she's an amazing human being. So. It was a it was a huge joy for me. When you showed up on set and Jason was there, were you like, hey, I just saw you. Was that a surprise? Was it kind of like, like, did you kind of know who else was being cast around you? Was it um, I knew Jason. Um, yeah, I knew um, he was cast before I showed up on set. But yeah, Jason Clark and I, we've worked together. This is our third film we've done together. What's really amazing is he's one of the first people I met, and Joel Edgerton, the two of them, because they're good friends, are some of the first people I met when I first moved to L.A. And we were all kind of, this was like <laughs> seven and a half years ago, we were all like struggling actors, you know, finding jobs. And then even on this film, I remember one time we were all having lunch and I just looked around and I said, you guys, I'm so proud of you. Like, look at what we're doing right now. This is incredible. How do you even prepare for a role like this? Because I feel like there's so much, I mean, Mark's script must have been amazing, but you, how can you do research for this? You can't like, there's not like CI people, AI people who are just there to yeah. <laughs> talk, talk about their jobs and what they do and what yeah. happened. Well, it was like going to school. I had three months before shooting to prepare, and I took it very seriously. Uh, I read a lot of books. I read The Looming Towers I found to be very helpful. I read Michael Schur's book on Osama bin Laden, which was very helpful. I talked to Mark a lot. Nicknamed him The Professor, because any question I had, and I had millions, he was there to answer, and he was, after a while, he was like, wow, you're asking me a lot of questions. <laughs> but I wanted to know every single thing about the dialogue, the tech, you know, the technical terms, and I needed to know about Maya. Um, I did also talk to some other people, um, but 
that that helped me in that department um, of like what it was to be a CIA agent. But you can't say who they are. <laughs> so so what do you, where do you go from here? I know you have the heiress uh, on Broadway. I'm not sure how long that's going on for. But do you have anything mm-hmm. else you want to do next? It's hard to follow up a, a movie in a row like this. I imagine. No, you know, I never think about like following things up in terms of career. But I think mostly about like what am I going to learn? Have I played this role before? Uh, so yes, I, I'm playing Catherine Silver right now on Broadway, which is really exciting for me. That's definitely like taking a master class. I just want to work with um, artists that are um, amazing. I'd love to work with Lee Volman, you know, so w- who knows? We'll see. You really believe this story? Osama bin Laden? Yeah. What part convinced you? Her confidence. If you're right, the whole world's gonna win in on this. You'll never find him. He's one of the disappeared ones. (laughs) 